The next group of buttons I want to talk about inside the main toolbar here allow us to control our transformation widgets. So I'm just going to demonstrate this here inside of a new additive level. Let me go ahead and maximize the viewport. And if I select the red builder brush, we see the translation widget available right here in the center of the brush. And this allows us to move the object around. I can move it along the X axis, which is red, the Y axis, which is green, or the Z axis, which is blue and allows us to move up and down. I can also move along two separate axes at the same time if I select the little planes in between each one of those arrows. Now, up here inside the main toolbar, I can jump between the different transformation widgets available. So what you see there is the translation widget. We can switch over to rotation mode as well, and then we get three axes about which we can rotate the object. So here's rotating in X, here's rotating in Y, and here's rotating in Z. Then we can jump over to scaling mode, and this allows us to scale the object up and down. Now scaling mode is for uniform scaling. If you want to do non-uniform scaling, you can switch over to non-uniform scaling mode, which will allow you to scale in just one axis. So you can stretch a brush out. And this is not just for brushes, this also works for static meshes. I'm just demonstrating it on a brush for simplicity's sake. Now, on the far left hand side, you also have selection mode. And what this does is this makes it so that objects cannot be translated, rotated, or scaled. It's just kind of a way to keep you from accidentally nudging something. So it's kind of a way to turn off those transformation widgets so that you don't accidentally change anything. Now you also can change the reference coordinate system for your operations. And this is something that you might have seen, you know, if you're using a 3D applications such as 3ds Max or even when using Maya but what I'm going to do to really kind of show it off here is let's open up a map so I'm just gonna grab sandstorm real quick and we don't need to save any changes here and let's fly over and let's grab let's just pick on this static mesh right here this nice dome static mesh now currently if I grab my translation widget it says I am in local as far as my reference coordinate system is concerned. And you'll see there's two options here. There's local and there's world. So let's leave it in local for a minute and I'll just move the mesh over here and then I'm gonna rotate it. Now, earlier I clicked on the rotation mode button. You can also just tap the space bar and that'll cycle through your different modes. So now we'll rotate this a little bit, say like so. Now, if I switch back to translation, take a look at the translation widget. It's now angled to orient itself along with the object. That's because we are in local mode. If I switch the reference coordinate system over to world, that widget will align itself with the world coordinates. So if we want to keep moving it in world space, we can choose world. However, if we want to kind of slide it along its own rotation, switch over to local, and we can do that. So that's a, a quick look at our transformation options here inside the main toolbar, and that will wrap up this video. <laughs>